welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiesma, also known as E.J. So yes, I'm starting in this corner, my Miltonia corner. There's a lot going on with this blooming update of August 2024. So uh, let's start because there are a lot of blooms to show for this video. Well, first of all, we still have this no ID, but beautiful. Probably my favorite Miltonia currently that I have in bloom. Beautiful colors. And there's quite some bloom still on her. As you can see, some are going over, but uh, yeah, I think the majority is still uh, quite pretty. So that's beautiful. And uh, maybe you saw a short video, <laughs> I'm trying shorts out nowadays, of this beauty. This is the uh, Regnellii Moraliana royalty. 21 blooms currently. Sorry for the background noise, there's a plane going over. But uh, look at these beauties. Yeah, and 21 blooms. I'm so proud of this one. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to say that a lot. That's what I always do, my blooming updates. Beautiful, stunning. <laughs> but yeah, they are, uh, because look at this then. Also a Miltonia in bloom. Just the first spike on this one. But absolutely stunning colors. And nice details. So let's go down here, where this one is still blooming. It's now going over. But uh, yeah, there's a few blooms that look kind of pretty still. <laughs> and this Miltonia sunset. Well, actually, it's a Mill Miltonia sunset. Has a nice bloom there, but these are starting to discolorate already. Well, already they were here for quite a while. In the back, we have another one. But you can see, it's, uh, we had quite some sunny days, and then they uh, start to fade a little bit quicker, which is uh, to be expected, of course. Then down here we have the Bluntii, Bluntii Miltonia. Very pretty as well. It's now just in full bloom, it's just opened up. Absolutely beautiful. Much smaller plant, just way younger. Then we have this beauty next to it. It's a no ID, coming from a supermarket. <laughs> but look at that flower. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I remember that the blooms when I bought it were a bit shorter. So this one is doing well, because the blooms are now, have now quite a size to them, as you can see. But the details and the colors, no name for it but very pretty, <laughs> nonetheless. Let's go down here before I forget these guys. This one decided to give us a bloom. Oh, I'm sorry for the shakiness, but it's a beautiful shape, so I wanted to lift this one up. Absolutely beautiful. Let me grab the tag quickly so we can see the name for this one. In the back I have two same types orchids. One is blooming there and one is there. This is a little bit easier to film. But look at that beauty. A beautiful cream color on this one. Absolutely stunning. Oops, I'm sorry. Just wanted to let you see the, the, the lip and the shape of the flower. So yeah, like I said, I think that one is very pretty as well. Then this big, <laughs> very large Bialara type is also blooming, but the spike is the first one that opened up is over here. It's the purple one. Maybe you remember it if you're longer on the channel, but look at this. I think it's maybe it's um, the um, Brasia Aztec, if I remember correctly. That name it had. Uh, Michael McCartney gives me that name. It probably is this one. I'm not completely sure. But the A-Stack, I think it's called Brussia A-Stack, is at least very similar to this one. And it's just starting to open up its first spike, but you can probably see there are a lot more spikes there. It's a huge plant. And while we are here, this No ID Miltonia is also doing very well. Look at all these blooms on this one. What a big one. <laughs> so beautiful. 
Let me show you the whole plan. Look at this. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. And every year it does get a little bit better, a little bit bigger, more spikes, bigger blooms. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then above that one, I have my No ID Miltonia, Ragnellii hybrids, I believe, of some sort. This is the bloom up close. And yeah, this is probably my largest Miltonia. Look at all these flowers. I, I just couldn't count them, but uh, trust me, there are a lot. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at this. It's all flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Same story, this one is getting bigger and bigger and just doing better every year. This is such a strong spike over here as well, I'm sorry. Look at that. It's almost a little bit bluish as it shows up now on my camera. Maybe it does show up uh, different on screen. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Just one more time, it's just too good not to film. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. So in the back, maybe you saw them already, but we have still a spike on my uh, orange delight, even though this one is going over, but here they are. Amongst the brushier types, this is my favorite. I really love this one. This is Brushia Orange Delight, if you want to look for it. So above these two very big beauties, I have another one. Um, yeah, I need something to stand on, otherwise I cannot film this, because this is also very, very large, as you can see. So, I made myself a little bit taller. <laughs> Let's see how we can do this. If we can do this. There we go. Look at this. This is a cross with the uh, Moraliana. You probably can see the shape and the lip in this, from one of the parents. That one we just saw, that purple one there in the back. That's one of the parents of this one. And again... <laughs> This is also getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's so beautiful. So much purple here now. So yeah, <laughs> it was a bit of a challenge to find space for these uh, big mamas. <laughs> but I did uh, buy another shelving because I, they needed their own space where they could really, uh, in, in, in really start growing those spikes and they had some room. And it looks very, very pretty, I must say. I really enjoy it. So yeah, as you can see, a very big one. <laughs> and then next to it we have this Barassia type. It's something green parrot, I believe. Yeah, Bratonia. Yeah, Bratonia green parrot. This spike is about to go over. Nonetheless, these blooms are kind of pretty still, if you ask me. <laughs> in the back we have more spikes. I can see two. We have one over here and one in the back there. So it will be in my next uh, update as well. So that is over here. Um, yeah, this spike is over on this Dendrobium, but it's working on another one. Just not opened yet, but soon, soon. Down here I have my Epidendrums. And these are still in bloom. These are also decided to become keikis. But also, we have company. Did you saw my... There it is, my company. <laughs> it's on a bloom, actually. It's an old bloom. You should choose another one. Yeah, with more feed in it. <laughs> it's coming from outside. I will open the curtain so it can fly out in a minute. But yes, oh, it's now going. Nonetheless, <laughs> focusing on the blooms again. Look at these. Very, very pretty. I have a yellow one over there. A few blooms on those cakes. And this one is really going over, but still some blooms. But you can see the, the old blooms there as well. And of course, very close to it, I still have, of course, but we have still this red one. <laughs> this is called Epidendrum Red Dragon. That are those. Then we have this one. It's been gone for a while on my channel because the plant wasn't doing well, but it's coming back and it's decided to bloom. Something with Esmeralda in it. So if you want to know names, please let me know in the comment section below. But I try to show them while I'm filming, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to reach them. This is the chocolate banana, still in bloom. And then we have this purple one, which I don't have a name for, but look at this. 
isn't it pretty? And it has a few more blooms over here. And we're going back because behind that one we have the snow jade opening up. And this is a bit difficult for me to film. I hope it does show up. Let's zoom in a little bit. There she is. So yeah, some are touching the roof. I just don't have room for all these very long spikes. <laughs> but it's fine, it's okay. Look at these guys. This is the polar fire. The Androgen polar fire with more blooms in the back. Over there. So let's go down because here we have my spring eclipse. The Androbium phenolapsis spring eclipse. There is this one. This bloom is a little bit strange. I don't know why. Maybe I did broke some off while watering. But the spike itself looks very pretty. Could be longer on this one. I had a longer spike previous year. But still, it's nice if you compare it to my hand. It's quite a nice size. And it has a few blooms left on this old spike up here. Then above that one, look at this. This is my blue happiness. Also a Dendrobium family opsis. It's called Blue Happiness and Blue Happiness is enjoying her life. It's making a new spike over here. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. I let them grow. They would like they like to grow towards the light, of course. And as soon as the first bloom starts to open, maybe halfway the spike, then I turn it around. So we can have a beautiful close-up like this. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you do it sooner, you will get it will search for the light, so you will get a very strange spike. So don't do that too early, if you ask me. This beautiful yellow one, it's, this is one of my favorites. I love the shape, the colors. And it has a bit of fragrance, but not much. This is the uh, Dendrobium Puff 58. And then it says fragrant on the tag. So that is this one. And... Then uh, we have this one. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Look at that. We have more blooms in the back, as you can see. Beautiful. Um, I did forget the name. I did find it recently. It's a commercial name. Uh, let me quickly check. No, that's the, the wrong tag. <laughs> um, oh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah. Dendrobium Phenolopsis Candy. So these are commercial names. The Puff 58 is the original name, just from the yellow one, but from the uh, Den Files, I, uh, I'm, you're hearing me say they're commercial names, but you should be able to find them. I don't have the original names. Then just above uh, this one. Well, speaking of it, this one has an original name, but look at this, it's almost a Cattleya type flower. Absolutely beautiful. It's something, I believe, the dragon? Ah, the spike. Ah, uh, the spike. The tag is here. Yeah, dragon jade. So then, Drobium dragon jade number one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that is that one. Yeah, we're going to look at you in a minute. But first, we're going to look at some cherry baby blooms. <laughs> With her beautiful fragrance. So I think this is the third spike this year. So it's doing well. And we just had a glimpse of it, but this is the Dendrobium Phenolopsis Anna Green Splash. I had the Anna Green, and the Anna Green is just, well, just it uh, has a purple lip and the rest is this green color. And this this one is called Splash, so because of the splashes of uh, uh, purple on there. Beautiful. I, I will try to find the original uh, Anna Green as well. It's very beautiful, but I lost it. It wasn't a very strong plant, and I may have my streets a little bit, I'm not sure, but overall, they start to do way better. So I'm uh, learning my lessons, I think. But yeah, here and there, I, uh, I lose some plants sometimes, um, which happens down over here. Look at this beautiful cluster on my hibiki. It's there's just coming more and more and more blooms on this one. Isn't it stunning? These colors, that bright pink with a fairly bright orange lip. Yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful flower. Absolutely beautiful. 
so yeah let's uh, move over here and we just whoops there's my Harvey Arnhem no not Harvey Arnhem uh, Hancock here I was in frame <laughs> currently up says Las Vegas bit of damaged bloom there but it's uh, there is still a bloom this this bloom for a very very long time <laughs> so um, she is also still in flower look at this yeah it may it is there's a little bit of green in there oh good quest i noticed let's see how she let me know that she thought maybe i had two show times this is uh well, this is the everything show time over here. That's the tag. No, I don't have two. It's it. I think it starts up a little bit more yellow, but you can see in the middle that there is green in this flower as well. So it's just what my camera wants to do with the colors. Sometimes it picks up more of the yellow, sometimes more of the green. It probably depends on the surrounding light. It's. Mm, yeah, I think the sun is now behind a cloud, so it's a little bit darker. Maybe it looks now a little bit more yellow or a little bit more green. I, I cannot see on my screen right now, but no, I only have one. But it's still in bloom, and it's absolutely magnificent, if you ask me. It's not only the colors, but the shape, I mean, and the size of this bloom. Yeah, absolutely stunning. It does, uh, yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> and then we have this beauty. I uh, need to check the tag. Uh, canary orange. But yeah, this always reminds me of the uh, golden peacock. I have that one in flower as well. I did a comparison last time. That is more orange, more bright orange. This has more of the spotting. So if you like the spotting and orange, you probably want to go for this one. Otherwise, yeah. Maybe if you don't have much room, I would go for one or one or the other because they are kind of similar, if you ask me. But yeah, and these fails are just bought, so they're not technically not my blooms. This one was in the same order. Um, then up there is something coming, but it's still in bud. But this one, this is the uh, Mermacadlea Elegance. Yes, so we had a tag, and this is the bloom that comes with her. It's just way close up to the roof. Yeah, yeah, I think we now have some light on that. I'm sorry, but it's a bit hard to film, but because now the sun's decided to come out again. <laughs> but look at that, it's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There we go with this one. And then we have the golden peacock. Uh, these are there's some sepals and petals gone from these blooms. I'm not completely sure why, but this one, this one is how it should look. So you can see the resemblance, I think, in the shape. But this is way more orange, and it has some spotting on the lip, as you probably can see, but not as much as the uh, orange canary of canary orange. <laughs> So yeah, that is this one, and we have another spike over here. Beautiful. This is very bright orange. It's very yeah. This orange is way brighter than uh, the, the orange canary. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And then down here, the octopus-shaped flowers. Um, a encyclia green parrots, I believe it's now called. Yeah. Nice, some blooms are going over, but we have still a few very good looking. Um, ah, no, I'm just too late. This is my Wilbur chain. That flower is going over. <laughs> so you see, we have more buds to come. It's still in flower. It also grows new growth, but not, uh, nothing for today. This is very special. And why? Well, first of all, it's beautiful, but this is the first time I'm blooming this Venda. I have it for several years. So I couldn't find it blooming size, so it took me a few years, but here they are, and so rewarding. This is actually fragrant, it's the Tessellada Alba. But look at that. So yeah, you can see, especially in comparison with the other two, <laughs> it's a fairly young plant, but it's now uh, obviously a uh, blooming size. Beautiful, beautiful. And up here, my yellow Venda is in bloom again. 
Look at this. A beautiful spike. It's just opened up. These flowers are getting bigger after they opened up. So that's why on this side they look a little bit smaller. But yeah, this is... I think this one is uh, about the size. Maybe it could get a little bit bigger. It's a nice size and the color, of course. There's a little bit of orange around. I'm sorry for the back, back light. <laughs> I hope you can see it now. Yeah, there are some darker parts. It's a bit a, of a rusty orange color, which I personally enjoy on that yellow. And then we have still some flowers left on this pink one. Beautiful Vanda. Yeah, absolutely very nice. Absolutely very nice. Um, this shell is now going over. Oh yeah, of course, the Bellina has now two flowers open. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I have a flower on this. It's the one on the left. And that is, this tag goes with it. This, the uh, the Traspus Crospity Gigantica. I'm sorry for the glare on the tag, but it says Gigantica. And this is a uh, grown from seedlings. So on the website they had a completely different color. And I just had this variety. But nonetheless, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty bloom. But uh, quite some details on it. Then I need to go back over here. Let's... Oops! <laughs> it was a Fanda root. This root over here <laughs> was grabbing me. Tolumnia. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm sorry for the shakiness. Oops. Yeah, it's not a huge spike. The plant wasn't doing so well, but I think it's it's starting to recover, even though we have some signs of dehydration. Maybe I should have cut out the spike, but I think it will be fine. And I did get a name from uh, Rick L. So Rick, thank you so much. Jarek Flyer Red Berry. That should be uh, this one. So let's put that one back. I will do an update on the, the Tolumnia soon, because I now have them in self-watering. So it will be in, very interesting, I think, to see how they do. Leodoro, some blooms go over, uh, one bloom, this one's over here. Some red varieties. This is a beautiful cross with the Bellina. Um, oh, I cannot find the tag, but if you want a name, uh, please let me know. I'm sorry, I didn't prepare the tag. <laughs> These are a bit of a same color range. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And then this rusty colored one, also still blooming. So that is it for here. Let me quickly check. I always forget something. Yeah, I think we are okay. So let's go inside because we have something quite nice there as well. Oh, and quickly update, if you saw the damaged leaves on my uh, catacetum type, I'm, I'm making a video about it. There's something going on here. <laughs> was, it wasn't funny, but I will address it. So that's, yeah, it's right. It shouldn't be looking like that. But anyhow, this is my blooming update. So I'm going to focus on these pretty blooms again. But just to know, there is a, a video coming about the subject. And yeah, this is also such a beautiful. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I know I'm constantly saying stunning, beautiful, but they are. <laughs> Look at this. White truffle, truffle, bright eyes. Beautiful, beautiful. Up here. My Princess Diana, the biggest Miltonia that I have, still in bloom. Some of blooms are going over, as you can see, but nonetheless, we have still some uh, flowers on her. Next to it, we have this beautiful, my favorite of all, because of the waterfall details there. One bloom left. Um, why don't I remember this? Yeah, there it is. Oops. I'm sorry. I need to adjust the screen. But on the opposite cutting hula skirt and this is just an old leaf <laughs> nothing wrong with that one look at that 
another beautiful Miltoniopsis. And if you know one or more about these guys in the Miltonias, I just did an update on them not that long ago. I will link this video in this one. A comparison between the two might be of interest. Who knows? I have another one over here. Springtime. Coplic, Copdick, Coplic. I'm sorry. There quickly is the name of this beauty. Uh, speaking of beauties, similar colors, but not the same. Hope you can see it, but they look very similar. And this one is bigger. And this one also lost the bloom. That one does bloom also as well, but this one blooms more. Mm, checking for a name. Oh, there it is. I should have turned it around so I can read it. <laughs> White Summer Angel Heart. Well, it's a nice name for a nice plant, I think. Okay, well, moving on, we have this one in bloom. Not a huge spike, but nonetheless, beautiful uh, orange blooms. Something Buttercup, some Kiss Buttercup. There is this one. Slow Grower. But it's beautiful, but uh, yeah, if you uh, do not like the slow growers, you shouldn't buy, the, buy this one. Perhaps. Maybe if you have a different climate, it does a bit better, but it's not very quick. I found the odontoblossoms blossoms are, generally speaking, not that quick growing. But if you put them next to a Miltoniopsis, they uh, do a little bit faster, I believe. <laughs> and then we have this one. Uh, Tiger Tail, yes, that's the name. And then I have a first time bloomer over here. Look at this. Mm, very, very beautiful flower. So much detail going on there. And this is the... No, it's not a name. I had to grab the a wrong tag. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> I'm back, you guys. This is the name tag to go with this one. So yeah, that is this one. Beautiful. And a nice long spike. So the plants over here. Beautiful arching spike. Quite some room in between the flowers, but I like it. Yeah, I like it. So, and then I can give a nice close up, I think, on this nail. It's the orange one. Again, if I watch my screen now, I see a lot of red with a little hint of orange. But there should be, uh, there is orange in, but it's, it's uh, red, red colors and purple colors are fairly hard to film nicely. So I apologize, but I hope it does show up quite well. And this is the uh, red velvet in bloom. Let me go to this side because it has another spike over here. Look at that. And now maybe this is with the, yeah, you can see this is, looks, at least in my screen, more, way more orange than the previous one, the other spike. So those are these two, and then up here I have the more original Swiss Beauty, also in bloom. Look at this. This is nice bloom to film. So yeah, man, the three Nelly Islands are in bloom. So if you know the Nella, you can imagine what I'm smelling now. And I personally love it. I hear a lot of people complain about it. I don't know why. I really, really enjoy the fragrance. Hmm, I'm strange, uh, perhaps. Maybe you enjoy it as well. I'm not sure. Uh, look at this. And it was uh, maybe last year, or at least with the last bloom, I did get, get a name from a viewer. So thank you so much, if you're still on my channel. Um, he says, where is that tag? You guys, I be, will be right back, I'm grabbing the tag. Because that was obviously on the other side of the pot. <laughs> this is the name. So yeah, it's very, very beautiful. And we have even another spike there. So look at this, three spikes. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's move over to this side. And here we have 
this beauty. Um, Blossom Falls, I believe. It's from the Ink Arc, it's, this is called. So yeah, maybe you noticed if you were longer on my channel, I did change the shelving over here as well, just uh, with my Miltonias. There's a video coming uh, on uh, about that subject as well. But I just don't have the time yet, and it's now time for the Doing the Blooming update. So uh, I will explain in another video. But yeah, I did start to make a little bit more room, changing up stuff. And some people really enjoy those types of videos, so I did film it. And it will be here on my channel. And while we're looking at this beauty... <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep repeating, but... It, it somehow, maybe I'm strange, but this somehow reminds me of uh, lilies and irises. I love those, those, those plants for in the garden. And this has, for me, maybe the most beautiful fragrance. Just get a, get a little sniff of it. It is uh, it's anise. Uh, uh, yeah, we say anise, but anise. I think you pronounce it in English. Beautiful, I love anise fragrance. So yeah, it had some, uh, you can see, some... Uh, while we're looking at this beautiful flower. <laughs> aphids, there we are, thank you. You may say that, say that word out loud, aphids. You're, you're, you're referring to aphids. <laughs> yes, aphids. But those are dead, luckily. And yeah, this is probably the last time that Spike is already going over, that's for this blooming season. But look, she's still pretty enough, isn't she? Look at that. And... Again, in this case, I did get a name from, from a viewer, and I believe it's Arcad Quest that helped me out on this one. Some viewer names I remember, some not. It, it has nothing to do with you personally, it's just my lack of remem remembering names, so I'm, I apologize. I really apologize. Well, you, you hear me sometimes pronounce, trying to pronounce names like the NS just before. Yeah, I do a horrible job on that. It's just, uh, but I'm trying. And you may laugh about it. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. I can only hope you kind of, sort of understand what, <laughs> what I'm talking about. But this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I think that is a universal language. We all understand those flowers, don't we? Look at this. This is back in bloom. And yes, we have four spikes this time. Stunning Dendrophyllum Magnum. And let me see, these are all teeny tiny blooms clustered together. Uh, let me see if I can, can zoom in like this. Oh, come on camera. Yeah, sort of, look at that. Teeny tiny. I'm sorry, I, I, it's hard not to shake, especially if you zoomed in this much. Well, I think I'm doing a kind of nice job. <laughs> yeah. Look at all the amount now of flowers on just one spike. It's stunning, right? It's stunning. And then we have another one over here and another one in the back. And yes, another one over here. So these are new growths. And before they start making these bulbs, they shoot out a flower spike first. So it's like they know that, we, uh, that they need some more time to develop that bulb. And meanwhile, while we are waiting, they are uh, providing us with beautiful flowers. So the waiting is not that long. <clears throat> Just making stuff up, of course. But it's nice. It's, it's absolutely beautiful plants. So yeah. And it's true, we now focused on the blooms and not on the, on the bulbs, of course. And this, for me, this after it blooms, it starts... Uh, well, actually, it's already uh, working on a bulb, I believe. It matures the bulb, and then for... Even a couple of months, it looks like it's doing nothing. It still drinks, this one really enjoys the water, keeps on drinking, 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 and then you're like, well, when are you starting new growth again? And then suddenly somewhere it starts again. So it, it, has, it takes a sort of break, but not with feed and water, in my care at least. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange but beautiful, beautiful orchid, if you ask me. Down here, Look at this. Katarina Zock. So it's on Sidian. Katarina Zock. Yeah. It has a fragrance just like uh, the Sherry Baby. I believe they share a parent. 
but it's not n not nearly as nice. It's okay, but it's not nearly as nice. And this is the best bloom this time. We have one, two spikes over here, and another two over there. So yeah, it's uh, and that's all on one bulb. So this one is uh, doing better and better. So that is over here. Down here, another beauty. Whoops. I'm kneeling. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look at this. It's such a beautiful, beautiful flower. Yeah, I try to show you that lip. Can I move this? This is a bit upside down. There we go. Don't want to touch it too much. These are very delicate blooms. Yeah, and we have a few more to go. Let's just open it up. You can see it's more greenish color. And then it starts to get a more creamy greenish color. And the second spike is also opening up over here. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, I'm sorry, there was a green, not a green tip, a brown tip. There's a spike. If you want to know more about this one, the nursery that I bought it from was from Belgium, but they, they closed, I think about two years ago. So it's not for sale there anymore, but yeah, maybe you can find it somewhere else. It's, it's a beauty. It's absolutely a beauty, if you ask me. So let's uh, have a look over here. Spikes. Most spikes are no blooms. These are in bloom. Maybe you remember it from last time, but it looked way more yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's yay, way more yellow. I don't have a name for it. I bought it from Landsbergen, from one of the open houses. To be honest, if it's just open up, I like it a little bit better. There's a little bit more yellow in the flower, but still, it's beautiful, and especially all those blooms together. Gives quite a nice show. Yeah, I almost, yeah, if I remember correctly, we at least have another spike, and I have a new growth over here on this side, so probably two more spikes to come. Actually, I have another growth here. Um, no, that's not the one that's blooming. <laughs> so at least we have more spikes. Let's let's put it like that. <laughs> and then this one, this is uh, the next one we're going to watch. An old favorite. Well, not very very old. I have this longer. It's becoming quite a nice size plant, but it's really climbing. But luckily, it doesn't mind because those roots are still reaching the pot. Luckily, because it's an extreme climber, and it's just open up. It's first flower. Oh, I'm sorry, my screen is not working very well. There we go. Um, I'm sorry, I have my finger. There we go. It will get more, yeah, it's the Alba form, as we just saw on the tag. So it will get more and more of a yellowish color, I believe. You can see it's just one open there, and we have a few more buds to come. So, yeah. Nice. This one is very pretty as well and then over here this one is in all my updates these days <laughs> here she is again pinocchio this is pinocchio alba and this time it has two blooms if i were a little bit earlier i would have three in bloom but uh yeah so this is almost getting a sort of own team in a theme in a blooming updates the Alba, Pinocchio Alba, does it show one bloom, two blooms, or three blooms this time? We never know. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. But yeah, this is blooming for ages. Look at this spike, it's going all the way there, 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 there. Very, very long. And meanwhile, it's working on a new growth. So, uh, new spike to come. It's not there yet, but nonetheless. A beautiful new growth. Let's turn around. I don't want to make you guys too dizzy. Um, yeah, there's a spike, not open on my sturbic. So I'm just quickly checking, because I know myself. And you probably do too. No, I don't see anything that I just missed. Well, my... This one, but it's going over, it's going over, sadly. Navium, Navium. Yeah, so... There, there you go. <laughs> Yes, this is the Blooming Update from August. I hope you enjoyed it at least as, uh, as much as I did. Uh, maybe you noticed I'm, I'm trying to take a little bit more time to film. I'm not trying to overdo it, but I did 
did get these nice comments of people that are saying, take your time, we love these blooming updates. And I thought, yeah, you're right. I love them as well with other growers. So yeah, I don't want to make them too long, but if you, I don't want to go too quick and make you dizzy and you don't have chance to uh, really uh, look, the, look at the blooms up close. So I hope this speed is a little bit better. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, if you want to know names of plants, if you know names of no ideas of mine, please let me know. I'm always uh, interested in the original names. And uh, yeah, if you have further something to say, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye. <laughs>